Hi everybody, I'm Captain Mike Mad Dog Duffy. Don't go anywhere because profiles be coming right up. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Marley Hall. Today's guest is Captain Mike Duffy, who since 1974 has worked aboard one of the world's most popular boat rides, the Circle Line Sightseeing Cruises. Since 1945, the cruises have inspired the wonder and imagination of more than 60 million passengers. After a short break, we'll join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes Captain Mike Duffy to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles. After more than a quarter of a million voyages, Circle Line recently turned 62 years old. Since 1974, today's guest, Captain Mike Duffy, has taken passengers on cruises to discover the secrets of the city, including three rivers, five boroughs, seven major bridges, 25 world-renowned landmarks, and of course, that magnificent close-up of the Statue of Liberty. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, on location from Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar in the heart of New York City, as he welcomes Captain Mike Duffy to Profiles. You're here on the Circle Line, obviously it's a different perspective on how to see the city. What do you think about it? Great. Absolutely great. An experience of a lifetime for me. Tell me about what you think of the experience so far as, as a way of seeing New York. Uh, I think it's enriching and fulfilling and it like completes my view of America. So I like, I like New York now. I didn't really know what it was like before. Captain Mike Duffy. Yes, Better sir. known as Mad Dog. Welcome to our show, Profiles. Great to be here. For our viewers, you're currently serving as one of the captains on the Circle Line Cruises. Right, Circle Line Sightseeing. And you've been doing so since, uh, well, since 1974. 74 I started, yes. Been a long ride for you. Pretty good. How'd you get started with the uh, organization? Well, I wanted to be uh, into electronics at first and uh, didn't want to go to school for the rest of my life, so decided to follow my father's footsteps. Uh, he was also a captain uh, at Circle Line at the time. Okay, did, did you ever get a chance to work with your dad on, on the cruises? Only uh, occasionally. If he was in as a relief, uh, I'd work with him, but otherwise, uh, I try not to put father and sons together. They don't. No. How did you get the name uh, Mad Dog? It was given to me by one of the other captains at Circle Line, uh, a guy by the name of Kenny Corcoran. Uh, <laughs> once I took the beast on, yes, uh, they we'll said you can't that, call him yeah. Captain Duffy, he's got to be something different. Circle Line has recently uh, celebrated its 60th anniversary as the world's uh, most famous boat ride. Right. Uh, that was a big celebration and quite a milestone. Yeah, yeah. There's so much to see. Uh, Circle Line uh, has been around for a long time and pretty much know what they're doing. Since 1945, the Circle Line cruises have hosted more than 60 million passengers. And what really I found interesting is that less than 10% of the people who've taken that the trip, the Circle Line trip, are New York City residents. Right, a lot of foreigners. Uh, it goes in spurts, depending on times of the year, different seasons. Uh, you get different groups, uh, but yeah, a lot of foreigners. Yeah, and I, I did read that uh, back in I think 1958. If you wanted a ticket for, for one of the Circle Line cruises, it, you had to make a reservation a year in advance. Wow, that that I didn't know. You didn't know that. that you know, today it's not that rough. You, you, no. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tickets available through the internet wherever. You know. Right now, an interesting fact that a, a lot of people, us or us New Yorkers, probably don't know, uh, is that the Circuit Line fleet uh, was converted from old U.S. naval vessels. Correct. Yeah. And that they were called landing craft in infantry. Right. And most of them, most of the fleet, have interesting stories attached to them. Yeah, every boat has a history, uh, either landing craft or uh, converted uh, submarine chases from World War II. Yeah. And most yeah. people would not know that. No, no. Now, they were originally uh, designed as transports for battle-ready troops. Correct. I was, I was uh, amazing. Uh, to enemy beaches for the invasion of Italy and Sicily during World War II. And the most distinguished uh, of the fleet was Circle Line 10, I right. was told, uh, which had made five landings in the Philippines and actually uh, shot down two enemy planes during its service. Right, I was captain of her for eight years. Uh, good boat. Yeah, is that true? It they, they was, a, it was, did see action? A lot so of far? action. Um, 
we have pictures posted on the boat of the uh, boat up on the beach in the Philippines. Uh, I've gone through the boat with uh, one of the captains from World War II who uh, would point out different. You see that mark? That's where we got hit in a typhoon in the North China Sea and, and uh, very interesting uh, history behind it. Sure it does. And, and, and I, I know that outside of the war there was one of the, uh, the vessels where Thomas Edison actually did uh, experiments on. Right, the Circle Line Number 5. Uh, she's no longer with us, but uh, yeah, but great, great history. The yeah. history is, is incredible. Uh, now, also since uh, 1945 is when Circle Line began, uh, it's made more than 250,000 voyages. And for those viewers who are not familiar, it cruises three rivers, seven major bridges, five boroughs, over 25 world-renowned landmarks and of course gives you a close-up view of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, am I leaving anything out? Uh, not too much. Uh, there's actually 20 bridges that connect uh, <laughs> okay. uh, the island, but uh, yeah, most smaller ones. Yeah, and other landmarks maybe that I'm not familiar with. There must be a lot of them that... The skyline is constantly changing. So, it is, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. hard to keep track of what's up, what's down. Uh, uh, you know, on, on uh, the older guidebooks, you look at things that they're showing artist renderings, and some of that stuff's coming down and being changed. You know, so yeah. always. So, so the landscape is always right. Always new stuff to see. Itself. Yeah. Uh, now, over the years, uh, I'm sure you 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 have a lot of in interesting stories uh, of your experiences al aboard the Circle Line, uh, and I know it also includes rescuing people from time to time. Yeah, uh, some people think that. Uh, it may be fun to jump off the boat or they decide they want to commit suicide <laughs> and then hit the cold water and say that was a stupid idea. Uh, <laughs> other people try to swim from one side of the New York side to the Jersey side and realize it's a lot longer than they thought. And the currents. The currents, yeah. We're always uh, plucking people out of the water pretty much. You are. Yeah. yeah. It's not as easy out there once you're in the water no. as it might look. I actually rescued uh, somebody from my same town uh, one <laughs> night on a, a booze cruise, so to speak. Uh, Decided to impress his girlfriend, who wanted to kill him when we got him back. He went in, but he couldn't get out. Yeah, the mate called me up. He says, one of yours. Said, what do you mean? Yeah, he comes from your town. And what hometown is that? Palisades Park, New very Jersey. Very good, very good. Surprised at all about anything you've seen today? Uh, yeah, how small we look compared to these buildings. And the Statue of Liberty, how, how detailed it looks up close. It looks awesome. And what's been your favorite part of the uh, Circle Line experience? You know, just the fact that we were able to go out to the uh, Ellis Island, I had uh, grandparents that actually landed there, and we were able to get a closer look at the Statue of Liberty. We weren't able to look at it this trip, and so it at least gave us a, a little bit better perspective of just its, its grandness. Back in 1945, when Circle Line departed on its first voyage, Harry S. Truman was president, the cost of a first-class stamp was three cents, and the Brooklyn Dodgers signed Jackie Robinson as the first African-American Major League Baseball player. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with much more on Profiles after these important announcements. Welcome back to Profiles. I'm Marley Hall. Back in 1995, Captain Mike Duffy encouraged the Circle Line front office to add speedboats to its fleet. They agreed, and in 1998, The Beast was born, a high-speed adventure with New York City as its backdrop. Now back to Mickey Burns with Captain Mike Duffy. I also read that over the years that you've seen many different fish in the water, such as dolphins, whales, porpoise, pelicans, turtles, a, a potpourri of yeah, species. Yeah, the, the waters in New York have cleaned up uh, unbelievably since the 70s uh, when they instituted the sewage treatment plant and uh, the uh, EPA regulations got stiffer. So really? it brings a lot more wildlife in. Uh, every, I guess the end of March, beginning of April, you start seeing the porpoise come in chasing schools of fish. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. If a line hangs in the water overnight, you bring it up, you co coil it up, uh, the next day you'll see all the little shrimp all over the deck. Uh, really? Very uncommon to these waters? Right, right. Everything's pretty much coming back. Um, there's actually seahorses uh, yeah, yeah, in the waters off the Statue of Liberty right now. And is that uh, the temperature of the water have a great deal to do I with that? I think it's just the lack of pollution now. Uh, really? the, the clarity in the water uh, at slack waters, you can see six feet through. Uh, and so when you first good. started, what was, what was it? A couple inches, <laughs> maybe, you know? So that, that's, a, that's good for New York. It's great. It's so, great. so would you recommend swimming in, in the harbor? I swim in it every now and then. You do? Yeah, okay. Sure. okay. You wouldn't have recommended that in the 70s? No, definitely okay. not. Uh, now, in a recent article, uh, 
uh, besides the water being clean, uh, my, my thoughts were on rainy, windy, cold, stormy days. Do you ever cancel trips? Uh, at times we cancel if, if it gets a little bit too rough, but the boats are, are uh, older boats, so they're a lot heavier than the new stuff that's being built today, so mm -hmm. they're pretty stable. Uh, we've been out in some pretty rough stuff. Sure. If, you know, hurricane cancels uh, a, a trip. Uh, if the wind is over 40 knots, we'll, we'll cancel. You'll cancel Just, it. Yeah, comfort and but safety. But it's got to be pretty severe. Pretty severe, yeah. yeah. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the beast. We all see it in, in the harbor. Right. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. And I know you were instrumental in bringing the beast to New York as part of the Circle Line Cruises. Explain to us a little bit about the beast and how you brought it to New York. Right. Well, it's a 70-foot it's a speedboat, and uh, we do uh, pretty good speeds through New York Harbor. Uh, I first rode a boat down in Wildwood uh, that does a dolphin watch, and that's what the boat was actually designed for. Um, but I figured we'd bring it to New York and kick it up a couple notches, some music, uh, and it's a lot of fun. And, and how popular is the Beast within the Circle Line fleet? Uh, we carry over 60,000 people this year with the boat, so that's pretty good, yeah. And you were saying before that well, part of the problem is that you're out on the, on, on the Beast, which is, doesn't have much cover, right. and you're there most six, seven, eight hours a day from most of the summer. Uh, it must be, the sun must be pretty intense. A lot, right? of, lot of sunscreen. Uh, yeah, bad. but does it, once you get moving, the wind is good. Uh, we get spray up. Uh, there's other entertainment with water balloons and and stuff. So right, right. it's pretty and good. How many people does it carry, and how fast does it go? Uh, 149 people, and uh, we can do excess of 50 miles an hour. But we kind of keep it down if the, <laughs> if the crowds are you know um, out of control. We slow it up, or yeah. if there's too much traffic in the harbor. And that's of course will be an ongoing uh, addition to the circle. Line. Oh yeah, okay. that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> What really surprised you about that boat ride? I think the music. It was great music, lots of fun. I didn't expect it to be like that. What about the speed and the excitement that, that, that was uh, uh, created on the, on the boat? It's a boat party. Tori, did you ride the beast today? Yes. And what did you think about that ride? It was fun. What was the best part for you? Uh, getting wet. Yeah. Now, some of the Circle Line fun facts that I, I wanted to mention uh, was that, which I wasn't aware, and I'm sure our viewers wouldn't be, that 100 couples a month become engaged on the Circle Line cruises. And if you do your math, over the course of 62 years, that's 74,000 engagements. Were you aware of that? I didn't know there were that many. No, I've seen quite a few of them, witnessed quite a few, and we've also done a lot of weddings on board, too. Uh, yeah, charters. I was going to ask you, as captain, can you perform weddings? Uh, yeah, uh, we can do it like as a figurehead, but uh, once you're in New York waters, no, it doesn't. You cannot. Out at sea you can, but, but not in... Uh, the, were you ever requested from numerous, passengers to yeah, do it? Yeah, yeah. To, a lot to of, perform it? Yeah. They want you to do it, but you know, it's not legal or binding, so... Right, but 74,000 engagements over 62 right. years, quite a benchmark. Yes. It really is. Now, uh, many movies and yeah. television shows have been filmed aboard the cruises of Circle Line. Uh, for, for instance, One Fine Day with George Clooney and Michelle Pfeiffer. Right. That was one. Paternity with Burt Reynolds. Dog Day Afternoon with Al Pacino. And the list goes on and on and right, on. Right, right. Uh, were you ever on a cruise that had a movie going on? Yeah, I've been on a couple different ones. Uh, one of Bette Midler's movies. Uh, we did uh, a lot of television commercials uh, yeah. get, get filmed from there. It's a long day when you're doing filming for movies. Sure. 30 yeah. second spot could take you three days. I bet. So you do a lot of that. Right. right. There's nothing captures New York more than Circle Line, right? The great views for the background, you know. What could be better, yeah. Uh, now over the years I know that you've had many celebrities on board. Correct, yeah. Uh, Mary Lou Henna has been on board. Um, i trying to think off the top of my head. Tom Hanks, uh, right. Cher has been on right. board. Uh, John Malkovich, uh, great guy, he was up on the boat. Uh, George Plimpton, uh, right, uh, right. numerous times. with. Uh, and I, I know as a courtesy, you used to invite them up to the wheelhouse right, things to, to steer the boat, but you can't do that anymore. No, things have changed. Uh, since September 11th, there's a lot stricter uh, security as far as who's got access to the bridge. So uh, that's pretty much a thing of the past. But uh, So you locked, uh, it's locked down tight? Locked down tight. Uh, Leonard Nimoy was on yeah. board. And, uh, he said that the Enterprise handled better. That's what I... <laughs> yeah. For you, what's the best part about this uh, operation? Even if I didn't work here for as long as I did, I think it's the finest way to see the city. There are no traffic lights. 
no congestion. Everything's presented from a perspective where you're back looking at it. And I think we're still the only company that shows the whole city. There are five pieces to the puzzle. And